hello. And before I talk about what I want to talk about, I'm just going to say that I was looking through like the clothes that I brought here and I found this and I bought this like last summer and it was a little tight when I got it, but now it's like, I feel like the Hulk and I can just like rip out of it and it's so tight and I don't know, it just amused me because I guess I'm just bigger everywhere. I don't know. Do I have muscle? I can't really tell. I feel like I do. But yeah, I like can't even get it off. Like now I'm stuck in this forever. It's like a binder, but it's not. It's just a shirt. Yeah, I'm just gonna. <gasps> okay, now I'm in something that actually fits me. And um, surprisingly, or not surprisingly, that's those are not the only clothes that I can't really fit into anymore. Like, I've went up probably about two shoe sizes. Like, I bought a new pair of shoes and I was like a seven and a half, and I used to be able to fit into like a four, and the sh it all depends on the make of the shoe, but I probably went up a good two shoe sizes at least. <laughs> Which is good because my feet were really tiny. But anyway, what I actually wanted to talk about was my love life here in college as a stealth trans man. Um, well, there was this guy, and I'm living with him next year, so it's kind of a good thing that it didn't work out. It still bothers me why it didn't work out, but I'll get over it. It wasn't like it was anything serious. It was just like, for a couple weeks, um, it was obvious that someone liked me, and I liked them back, and we'd, like, hold hands every time we were together, and, I mean, it was just like, it was, it was obvious. It wasn't like, it wasn't like we were unsure if we liked each other. Like, it was obvious, but we weren't dating. But, like, eventually, I felt bad for him not knowing about my situation. So, I had a friend help me come out to him. Uh, he's, like, I don't know. Like, n when I came out to him, not much happened. Like, it's like, I'm transgendered. And he was like, oh. And then I was just kind of, like, quiet because it's, it's hard for me to come out to people. And then just, like, I don't know, 20 minutes later, we were doing our math homework. Like, it, it... it we didn't discuss it or anything like that. And um, my friend who helped me come out to him was talking to him when I wasn't around. And she was like, so how do you feel about Val being trans? And he was like, um, he was like, it's completely new to me. It's really different, but I'll give it a try. Uh, but it turns out that he wasn't going to give it a try. <laughs> but he's really nice. He's like, he's not a douchebag or anything. He, he, just, I get it's not his thing. I mean, I can't blame him. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. It, it sucks, but uh, it's probably something I'm gonna have to deal with more in my life. But, um, so we never, we never talked about it, like him and me, but uh, like he didn't touch me anymore and it was like, it was obvious that he wasn't really interested anymore. And then just the other day, he was like, so I have a date on Monday and I was just like, uh, cool. I'm <laughs> like, like, I, cause I mean, I knew that it, nothing was gonna happen, but I was still, like, since we don't talk about it, like, I was still kind of wondering, like, maybe he's just uncomfortable a little bit and he's, like, working through it and maybe something will happen, but now it's like, no, nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> but so I was happy for him. His date went well, it was today, but, um, and it's, I mean, it's adorable. Gay people are just so cute, right? Yeah. So that happened. Um, and I was talking to, like, we never actually talked about us or talked about me and him. Like, we never talked about that. But then I, we were talking about the date, and I was like, he was like, yeah, I told you first just to make sure that you do, you were okay with it. Because if you weren't, I would have blown off the date. And we were just, like, kind of joking around. And I was like, well, wh like, why would, you, why would you blow off the date? Because I would be upset. And he was like, I don't know, because you're my friend. And I'm like, that's not a very effective way to friend zone me here, kid. <laughs> I don't know. So that's over. But uh, I I hate being rejected for that reason and that reason alone. Like, why? But it's okay. I'll overcome somehow. Um, so that's kind of my life right now. Still single and single.
In other news, Tangent, the transgender group here at my college, um, we decided that it would be very beneficial and an important thing to do to um, have a presentation about transgender people at one of our like uh, gay alliance meetings because a lot of people go to these gay alliance meetings and you know we have this thing called rainbow week every month where every day of the week there's like another event that's lgbt related and you know one of the days is always like a transgender day like presentation information stuff like that but no one goes to it because it's i don't know no one goes to it but you know these weekly meetings with the gay alliance pretty consistently about like 30 people go and you know all my friends go so like we're, we're, we want to bring the presentation there because there's a lot of ignorance within the community about the tea at the end like there like there's a lot of ignorance there so we we're like it'd be really important to do this you know kind of force them to listen but like not really because they're still there by choice but you know they don't go when we give them the opportunity to go to like an information session outside of the actual club so I, I mean, it, it's it's getting really hard, especially since I'm making all these closer friends, it's getting really hard to be hiding this part about myself. You know, of course, in certain circles, I'm still going to be stealth, like the rugby team, I can't come out to them. And, you know, just, you know, general people, like, I don't want to be out, like, I want to be stealth, I guess. But I think that it would do more good than harm to come out to, you know, the gay alliance. That's where, like, most of my friends are. And, like, it's, I don't know, I just feel like being an activist now, I guess, for them, but whatever. So I'm going to be part of this presentation. I'm going to be answering questions, and they're going to, like, pass in questions anonymously, and I'll answer them in front of the people. And, you know, it's going to be led by me and this other gender queer identifying person, and I guess whoever else from Tangent who wants to help, most of them are stealth, but you know, I was stealth too, so maybe they'll be like, hmm, maybe I want to come out to this group of people, because generally the people who are in the gay alliance are going to be accepting of it, just more ignorant, which is why we're doing this. But yeah, so uh, that's a big step for me, I guess, you know, coming out to all my friends, a lot of them don't know, I know some of them are going to see me differently, but hopefully not in a terribly bad way, and um... So that's the deal. So, so my life. Now you know more about my life. There's just an entire life update and a little bit about transition update. You know, hormones make me bigger and now I don't fit into my shoes or my shirts. So there you go. There you go. Goodbye, everybody. Enjoy your lives and subscribe or comment. Mostly comment. I like them. Or also subscribe. I don't know. Send me a message. Do something. Like it. Bye.